It is an epic story of the American Catholic experience, a story of women who not only refuse to allow discrimination and exclusion to discourage them from answering God's call in their lives, but also to serve their communities. I came to this project by chance, although I think it's better to say providential serendipity. I was studying um, and preparing for my seminar in African American history and came across a newspaper article announcing the formation of the National Black Sisters Conference in 1968, which was organized in wake of Dr. King's assassination. Up until that moment, I, a lifelong Catholic, had never seen a black nun. In fact, I did know that they existed in the U.S. Catholic Church. So I came to this project really wanting to understand how I, as a cradle Catholic, how I, as a black Catholic woman, was unaware of the existence of black nuns in my church. My book argues the story of America's Real Sister Act is the story of how generations of African-American Catholic women and girls fought against discrimination and exclusion to answer God's call on their lives to become and minister as consecrated women in the Roman Catholic Church. One story that I think every Catholic should know is the story of Sister Mary Aloysius Beecraft, who now has a building named after her at Georgetown University. She was one of the early Oblate Sisters of Providence in Baltimore, but also according to the historical records that have survived, she was the granddaughter of Charles Carroll of Carrollton, who was the only Catholic signer of the Declaration of Independence. So the only Catholic sister that we know who has a birthright to the early United States, but also to the early American Catholic Church, is a black Catholic nun. These are women who embody the fundamental truth that black history is and always has been Catholic history. These are women who broke some of the nation's most difficult racial and gender barriers, and also women who kept the faith, women who taught us that racism had no place within the Catholic Church. These are women who fought to make our church truly Catholic, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to have told some of these stories.